Hi, if you're watching, it means you have installed Visual Studio Code and the .NET Framework in your system. What an achievement, but so much still needs to be done. Now, we are going to look at how to create c -sharp project files. Right, so let's get started. So, we create a folder, right? We name this folder C Sharp Learn. Right. So we've successfully created this folder. Right. Now we need to open this folder in our command line or the terminal. Right. So you right click, you are presented with options. Right. So for me, I'm going to go open this in the terminal. For you, it might be written open in command. Or in command line right so you want that option right so for here it's written in open in terminal right open in terminal so for you it might be open in command line so all the same we click together and voila right we have this folders path in the terminal now if you have something like this right pointing to the path of this folder then you have done well. Now, let us open Visual Studio Code using our terminal. We simply say code and then space and then dot. Right. And this should open our folder called the C Sharp Learner folder that we just created in Visual Studio Code. So it should open our folder in Visual Studio Code. Now let's press enter. Excellent. Okay, so this is good. Now, now that we see that this is good, let us quickly close the terminal and all the other tabs that we don't need for now. Okay, so we are left with an empty folder, C Sharp Learner, under the Explorer tab. Right, this is good. Now, Seeing this folder empty, we see that no, this is not right. So we have to get started creating our C Sharp project. So we're going to open the terminal here, right? This is the terminal tab. I click it. It shows me the path of my C Sharp learner folder. This is where I want to get started creating my C Sharp project file. So I'm going to say, .NET new, right? This is a very important statement right here, right? So this command, it is a command. You're commanding .NET, right? .NET new is a very special command. Let's see why. So if I just write nothing after the new and press enter, you see that it gives me options, right? So with this .NET command, I can create a .NET project based on these templates that are named here very interesting right so if i'm looking to create a blazor web app i can then just use new blazor if i'm looking to create a class library i can then just use new class lab and if i'm using i'm creating the console app right then i can just say dot net new console right and this is what we'll be creating in this video right so let us quickly clear our terminal Okay, and then say .NET new again, but this time, because we know what we want to create, we're going to say console, right? And this will create our console app, right? And then we need that app to be stored in the folder, right? So we're going to say dot, we're going to say dash O learn, right? So what are these two lines for then? Because we didn't see them when we when we were looking at the .NET new command instructions, right? We didn't see this dash O and this learn. So what are they for? Well, simple, right? We're just saying that this app that will be created by this statement, right? We want to store it in learn, right? So we want to store it in the new folder that we will call learn, okay? So this dash O just means that the project files that will be created with this command .NET new console must be stored in the LAN folder, right? With that, we can now press enter. 
and just like that our template console app was created successfully this is so good now let us go back to our c sharp learner folder so we're going to close our terminal right and go to this c sharp learner folder that we created earlier right and when you open it now there's a new folder inside it right and this folder contains project files for our c sharp console app this is so good right so what have you learned right so you have learned how to create your first .NET project files. If you were successful in creating these files like this, then, my friend, you will be able to continue to the next lesson. I will see you there.